I'm running the show. Lakewood Boulevard home. Today we're going to talk about fabric softeners. You know that lovely fabric softener everybody loves to use? Well, there's some things about fabric softener you might want to think twice about using it after we let you know. But we'll talk about the positives and negatives with fabric softener and we'll go through all the potential problems that can be caused with using fabric softener for both your washing machine, your clothes, and even your dryer. All right, so fabric softeners. People love them because they say they make their, their clothes nice and soft and they smell nice and all that. Well, you may not like this. The main ingredient in a fabric softener is lipids, fats. It's a byproduct of the meat industry. They take those excess fats and they put them in your fabric softener to make it nice and soft. So people often wonder, why do I get this blue goopy stuff or green gloopy stuff? Gloopy stuff. On my wash machine, around the fabric softener, around the dispensers. That's because it's the fats, the lipids in there that have settled to the bottom. And so instead of people using their fabric softener and shaking them up real good before they use them, what they do is they just take and start pouring from the top and they have the liquidy stuff. And then when they get toward the bottom, they get that fatty stuff and then it starts glooping everywhere. Now with that glooping, you can get a lot of things that will be coming off and going onto your clothes and when the clothes you pull them out you'll have like these gray spots all over your clothes. So if you take a little bit of soap and water you scrub it out it comes out. Now if you have hard water and you have hard water issues it can cause your clothes to be crunchier than you'd want them to be. That's about the best way I can put it. It does help with that but if you have soft water or softer water you really don't need to use as much fabric softener. There's a lot of other reasons positive and negative fabric softener so we're going to get into specific things and kind of go from here the machine puts the fabric softener into the washing machines on front load type with the drawers now it adds hot water or warmer water to it to basically help dilute it down and dispense it into the machine now if you're using the type that goes on top of the agitator that type you basically have to put in the measured amount and then you have to fill the rest of it up with hot water or warm water well if you don't fill it up with that water what happens is the fats themselves will basically start clumping in there and people tell me all the time had somebody actually tell me the other day that this dispenser never works right well you add warm water to it well no well that's why it's not working right is because you're not adding warm water well it doesn't say that in the use and care manual well can i see your use and care manual well yes you can here you go break open the seal it's never been opened in three years pull it out, add hot water. So anyhow, that's the way you do that. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna have issues with it. So that is the proper way you should be putting fabric softener in your machine if you want to use it. With having the fats in fabric softener, there's a couple things that it does affect. If you're using microfiber towels, microfiber towels, that is designed to soak up all of the water into it. Well, if you're using fabric softener in there, basically you're coating it with this, these fats. And so they become less effective. They don't dry as well. They smear. So when you go to wipe something, you're like, like in my case, clean my glasses with it. All of a sudden I have this smeary mess all over my glasses. Well, that's because it was used with fabric softener. It's clean, but there's fabric softener in it. Second of all, if you use them with your towels, and yes, they make your big fluffy towels and you curl up in them and you think they're great. Well, these towels, it does the same thing. Yes, it makes them soft, but it basically reduces the effectiveness of this big towel. So when you go to wrap it up and you clean and you dry yourself off, it doesn't work very well. It's very ineffective, it's very inefficient, and it just causes lots of headache with them. So why would you use fabric softener? Well, there's certain things you want to use fabric softener on, you know, your Levi's so they're not nice and hard and crusty. So when you take them out of the drawer, they're not like stiff and like a board and, and you have to like pull the wrinkles out of them. No, you want, you want some fabric softener to help loosen them up so they're nice and they fold nice and the, the wrinkles come out of it. But there's certain things you do not want to use them in. Another bad thing about fabric softener is if fabric softener sits around for too long or if it happens to freeze during the shipment process. We had this problem with, you know, in our area, oh, five or six years ago, we had a big shipment come into town that was froze along the way and it defrosted. When it defrosted and it came back, it didn't break down properly. So the fats didn't break down properly. So yes, it left gray spots all over everybody's clothes. Now they came out, but in some cases we had to go out, take the machine apart and actually scrape this gray sludge out from in between the drums that was created from the fabric softener. You always have to make sure that you're using fresh fabric softener. You're not using stuff that's been sitting around forever. You can't go to Costco and buy the Mega Mondo pack and th store three of them out in the garage and then start using them when your other ones run out. The best thing with fabric softener is to buy it when you need it and use it. And always shake up your bottle really good before you use it to make sure that we get that fattiness displaced inside of the fabric softener. So that way when you dispense it into 
into your dispenser itself or you put it into the cup, it is diluted. And so you have the right amount of the fats in it along with the other chemicals in there to help soften your clothes. Fabric software can also affect your dryer. You say, how can that affect my dryer? Well, let me tell you how it's affecting your dryer. There's these things right here. These are your lint screens for your dryers. Now, the lint screens, there are two different types of lint screens that people are using. You have the old wire mesh, like this one is. You see the bigger wire mesh, you can kind of see me through it real good. Uh, that's a wire mesh. Now, we have the newer style that are using this, is, and this is like a nylon mesh. What happens is fabric softener, when it releases out of your clothes, what it does is it sticks onto these things, and basically it coats them. And so people say, well, gosh, I clean these all the time in my dryer. It's just not drying. And, and I'll take these literally out of people's washing machines. I will take this type, which is the mesh type, and hold up like this, you can't even see through it. It is like black. And they're saying, well, I clean it. Yeah, the lint's all gone off it. I'll stick this under water. The water will basically pool on top of this and won't even go through it. And they said, well, how does that happening? Fabric softener. That's exactly what it does. It does the same thing, like we said, to your towels. It makes them less effective. So what people have to do is if they want to use it, is I have to recommend to them, scrub it out once a week with soap and water and with a scrub brush to get them clean so the air flows through it properly. This type, well, this is a little more forgiving with the, with the, with the metal mesh type, a little more forgiving. This type, you have to clean about once every two to three months, but this will also coat. And I can always tell when I go up and grab my, when I grab it, it feels greasy. And I tell people, can you feel this? And they're like, yeah. And I said, well, that's the fabric softener. And they're like, ooh, do I want to use it? Well, I'm not saying don't use it. I'm just telling you, it does affect both your washer and your dryer and your clothes. As long as you use it properly and you're using fabric softener with the right items and doing the right things, and you know that it's going to affect your microfiber stuff. That includes your clothing also. As long as you know the proper ways to use it and things you can do to prevent problems with fabric softener, then you can use it properly and be happier with the end results that comes out of your washer and your dryer. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please put it below and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you.